The Moral Influence Theory of Atonement Explained We continue to make our way through all the atonement theories of Yeshua on the cross and his resurrection. We hope you get a chance to watch the previous videos in order to have a better understanding of all theories so that you can come to your own understanding and conclusion to which theories you believe are most biblical. So, what is the Moral Influence Theory? Let's take a look. The Moral Influence Theory says that Yeshua Messiah came and died simply to bring about a positive change to humanity. This moral change comes through the teachings of Yeshua alongside his example and actions, including laying down his life for his sheep. Yeshua's life and laying down of his life on the cross is meant to be an inspiration and influence for anyone who reflects and ponders on him, to have a change of heart and to be inspired and influenced to follow his example to live moral lives in love. Yeshua's sacrifice is meant to show us how much we are loved and worth to the Father in heaven. And as we look upon Yeshua's life and death on the cross, this should cause us to be transformed in the heart, to become a new man, no longer our old selves, which lived in the selfish, fearful flesh. Yahweh reveals his heart upon the cross, displaying how much he believes we are worth, and thus causing us to want to change for the better. Some verses used to support this theory is John fifteen thirteen, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Romans 5, 8. But Elohim proved his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Messiah died for us. 1 John 3, verse 16. By this we know what love is. Yeshua laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of Elohim, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Messiah Yeshua. And finally, 1 Peter 2, verse 1 to 3, says that knowing the goodness of Yahweh, we are morally influenced to put away sin and live holy lives in love. It says, quote, So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander, like newborn infants, Long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Master Yahweh is good. Now, what are critics saying about this theory? One, they say that a moral influence is true and good, but simply does not provide any atonement for our transgressions. Number two, how was anyone saved before the cross, if the cross is the only thing to bring people to true salvation? And number three, nothing really happens at the cross with Yeshua's blood and death. The moral theory does not do anything to pay for our sins. The only effect is the influence it brings upon others. Personally, I believe this is a great theory. We should all see how much we are loved by his sacrifice, and how much Yahweh loves us. And by seeing this, we should be compelled to try and live for him as best as we can. But this theory cannot stand alone. We still need to accept that Yeshua not only was a perfect moral influence on our lives, but also he is our atonement by his blood and body on the cross. Please check out my playlist on all the atonement theories. This study has really been a blessing to better understand what Yeshua has accomplished as the Anointed One, our Messiah. Hallelujah. Thank you and Shalom.